There was rowdiness at the government house gate Yenogoa as members of the movement for survival of Izong ethnic nationality in the Niger Delta, Musiend, staged a protest against alleged neglect of members by the state government. The protesters stormed the area and stopped vehicular movement in and out of the government house. Our correspondent Jesse Ese has details. A peaceful protest at the government house gate Yenogoa by members of the Movement for Survival of Izon Ethnic Nationality in the Niger Delta, Mosiend, a social cultural group fighting against the marginalization of Ijaz. As they demonstrate, they insist that no one leaves or enters the government house. Attempts by security operatives to calm them down proves abortive. They say the government does not regard them. We have been diplomatic all this while for more than a decade trying to reach out to the government, trying to see how we can settle all these issues affecting us. We have our infiltration of them, enhancement infiltrating our territory, raping our women, invading our farmlands. But they are not paying uh, 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 due attention to it. That is why we are here. We are printing letters to them. We are trying to extend our hands of fellowship with them. But they see us as an opposition, as a threat. I don't understand. We are all sons and daughters of each other. Another issue fueling the protest is the decision of the government to mobilize only the Joy Youth Council IYC for the Boru Day celebration. Boru, as we all know, fought for this own nation. Boru is the founder and the father of what we call the modern day Izon struggle. And it's supposed to be an event that is supposed to unite the Izon nation, that is supposed to bring everybody together. But when you have a government that is segregatory and a, 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 a sidelining other parties that are Deputy Governor of Bayesu State, Lawrence Erujakbo, comes to address the protesters. He says it's only a spare tire, but that their complaints will be forwarded to Governor Doi Diri. Hearkening to the deputy governor's plea, members of the group depart home, but they vow to return if their demands are not met. Just CSA, Plus TV News, Yenugua. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.